Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. So I need to put together a really quick nosegay for a dance and I thought I would do that with you. So they wanted only blue hydrangeas. And so I was gonna show you how to tint hydrangeas blue. Most often here at our shop, we prefer to order white hydrangeas. And the reason is, is because I can paint a hydrangea any color I need it. We have what we call, this is called Design Master Paint. This is just for flowers. It's actually more of a transparent flower dye versus a paint. So it gives you just kind of the, I don't know, it's not a solid paint. It doesn't give you a real full coverage, um, but it's really pretty. So here at our shop, we would prefer to tint our hydrangeas instead of having blues and pinks and greens, I can have white and then I can have every color in the rainbow. So that's what we're gonna show you today. I'm gonna start out with taking my hydrangea and kind of fluffing it. Oh, that one kind of had a little broken place. So I just fluffed it. I'm gonna remove a little bit of the foliage, but not all of the foliage because this is actually just a little handheld. It's not really going in the vase arrangement. I'm going to take my um, Delphinium Blue. We have um, Just for Flowers Delphinium Blue, Just for Flowers Fresh Green, and Just for Flowers Hydrangea Blue. Hydrangea Blue is a lighter blue. I like to give it a little bit of all of these colors. So you can see I'm just kind of coming throughout that hydrangea. I'm going to add a little green. And now let's hit it with a deeper um, delphinium blue. And I'm going to come underneath and get all those petals underneath. So there's our blue hydrangea versus our white hydrangea. Okay. Do the same thing with each of these hydrangeas. Now, of course, you can paint them pink. You can paint them green. You can really... We've even um, antiqued them. A little bit of green. And then our delphinium blue. Again, if you just have a soft blue, you're good. It does not have to you don't necessarily have to layer all these colors. I just like to. We have them on hand, so I just like to. But it's really, if you just had the blue, that's fine too. tell you to pick between these colors I say go delphinium blue all the way it's a deeper um, it just gets more color it's just a, a darker blue and to me it shows up so much better than the hydrangea blue the hydrangea blue is really really soft doesn't have a whole lot of color to it so if you were to say, Monty, I have to choose between the Delphinium Blue and the Hydrangea, I say go Delphinium all day long. Okay. So there's our Blue Hydrangeas. Now let me tell you a trick about painting. Always do layers, um, just like I just did. Layer that paint. Um, you can make any color in the rainbow by layering the paint. Adding a little bit of green to things is always gonna help it look, um, look more like a true blue versus painting it just a solid, solid, real vibrant color. Um, so layer those colors and you're gonna find that that, um, that makes it look more um, true to its natural color. So I just took my two hydrangeas. I've got one in one hand. I'm going to take the other and just nestle those together. And here's a third bloom. 
and then my fourth bloom. Okay, so there's my blue hydrangeas. I do have a little white in there, so I'm going to take my green and pop that little bit of white with that green paint. And there is our blue hydrangea bouquet or nosegay. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a little bit of waterproof tape. Y'all forgive me, my nose has been running all day. <laughs> I'm gonna take my waterproof tape and I'm gonna go ahead and tape those stems together. Now I don't know about you guys, but here, um, in Mississippi, we do some nosegays for dances, and then we do more corsages than nosegays. And so we have a few nosegays, but this is our only hydrangea one. <laughs> Everything else is mixed. So I'm going to take um, some seeded eucalyptus, and I'm actually going to kind of nestle that down into that hydrangea so it doesn't look like it's sticking out quite too much. And I'm just going all the way around this bouquet with some eucalyptus. Now, personally, I think the greenery really makes a bouquet. Now, I realize not everybody loves that, and that's completely okay. If you wanted to do just a bouquet without the greenery, that's fine too. Um, but I just think that greenery really makes the bouquet so pretty. So I've just gone all the way around. I'm gonna add just a touch more. We are complete. It's just a handheld little um, nosegay of hydrangeas. Very simple. Next, we're going to take our tape and tape these stems. Now, I like to use tape instead of like a wire or um, anything like that. Tape doesn't cut into those stems like wire does. So I just take and um, wrap that tape right around those stems, just right there. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of um, ribbon. Um, I would say about 12 inches or so. I'm going to take that and lay it right there over over that tape and I'm just wrapping that right around those stems. And what that's doing is it's just covering that tape that we wrap those stems with to hold those stems in place. I like to fold down the edge if my hands would work. I'm just folding that edge down and I am just taking a corsage pin. It's just a little pearl pin, and I'm pushing that up toward the head of the flowers. Now, when you go to pin, why is that not wanting to go in? When you go to pin that ribbon into place, push the pin up toward the um, head of the flowers and not down toward the hand where you hold it, because what's going to happen is it might come out the bottom of that um, ribbon and it might poke someone. So for safety reasons, always push that pin toward the head. Now, let me show you how we wrap this for someone to pick up. Now, these bouquets will be picked up by the dates, okay? Victoria, would you grab me um, a Rive Alive bag 
and the foam and a couple of rubber bands and I'm going to show them how this works. So what we do is instead of dropping this in a vase, I have to take money out for the vase. And so what we've done this season, instead of spending their money on a vase that's just going to be left at home and they're really not going to use it, we have decided to wrap these with um, a little foam piece that holds water and it's called Arrive Alive. And um, I'm not going to dip it in water right now, but I'm going to show you basically how it works. So I'm going to lay my bouquet here on the table. Thanks, Victoria. Okay, so this is just a little foam piece. And what I do is I've cut those stems. I'm going to take this foam piece and I am just going to wrap it right around those stems. And then wrap this one up and right around those stems. Now this holds water real well. Bye Victoria, thank you so much. I'm gonna take a rubber band and before you soak it in water, don't soak it yet because what's gonna happen is it's going to wet you, okay? Um, before you soak it in water, go ahead and add a rubber band to the bottom. So that's right in place. Now what you're gonna do is dip this right into water and after you've dipped it into water, you're going to place it in this green plastic bag. So it's dip, I'm gonna pretend. It's dipped in water and I'm gonna place it into this green plastic bag. Now this is keeping these flowers hydrated. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a rubber band to hold that bag into place. I would wrap it three or four times to make sure that it was really tight, but I'm gonna take it off and soak it. But what this is going to do is keep these flowers hydrated until you get home. And then I explain to them, pull the bag off and drop this down into a vase of water. Um, and it is going to keep these flowers hydrated. Now, they're very likely not going to give this nosegay to this girl with this bag on, which is probably a good idea. It wasn't going to arrive in a vase anyway. And so what this does is I can put more money into the flowers versus into the container that it needs to go home in. So that's what we found to do. Um, but this really, really is a, a very simple and easy way to send flowers home with someone and make sure that they stay hydrated. Now we ordered these from a company called Burton and Burton and they are called Arrive Alive and we have found they work beautifully for arm bouquets. Um, we had senior night this week and so I think I wrapped 45 arm bouquets and I used these Arrive Alive. So much easier than a water pick. Um, and honestly less expensive in the end when you have to put six or seven water picks on a bouquet. Guys, I hope this helps. If you have any questions about how we do things here at the flower shop, please don't hesitate to ask. We are so happy to answer your questions. You can drop that right here in this video at the bottom, or you can send us a message over on Facebook or, or send us an email. We're happy to answer any questions you might have. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Do me a great big favor push that like button like this video and if you have not already subscribed hit that subscribe button so that you will get these videos and if you'll hit that little bell it'll give you notifications for when we have a new one have a great day we'll see you soon